The governing Liberals will need the support of the NDP to get some things done, like passing a budget. Jagmeet Singh didn't win as many seats as he wanted, but he will still wield some power getting his agenda on the table. Here's Robin Gill. Donna, Jagmeet Singh looked dejected and disappointed when he held his post-mortem news conference. The party will obviously have to dissect what went wrong, but Singh insists he'll stay at the helm of the NDP. Jagmeet Singh is carrying the weight of a party that wanted to send more New Democrats to Ottawa. It's a loss not just for me as a leader and not just for New Democrats as a team, but it's a loss for Canada, some of these really incredible candidates that would have really made a big difference. This is the second election for Singh, and despite his personal popularity, it hasn't translated into votes for the NDP. Party insiders say it takes time to build up a leader. And if Canadians over, overwhelmingly have a positive impression of Mr. Singh, then that's a good thing. That's, that's where you start. And then it's the, the, the next phase, which is to look at somebody and see them, yeah, this could be our prime minister. Yes, we do. Thank you so much. The NDP spent $25 million on this campaign. Yo, bro, who got you smiling like that? Like Much of it on a social media strategy aimed at a younger electorate that didn't turn out as hoped. This political scientist says the NDP leader was all style and no substance. Tell me what the content was in the NDP platform this time. A lot about his mum, a lot about uh, I'm not the other guys, and then a bunch of promises that no one could take seriously. Singh spoke to Justin Trudeau to congratulate him, but says there wasn't an opportunity to negotiate his priorities, which include a national pharmacare and dental plan. He still believes that he's in a position to fight for those issues, despite being a fourth place party when the opportunity comes. Donna? All right, Robin Gill in Vancouver, thanks.